Almost everyone is familiar with shell games, the sleight of hand games hucksters use to rip off a few gullible and naive people. But many Alabama politicians and special interest groups have raised shell games to a new art form that undermines public confidence in every Alabama election. I'm Julie Collier for API New Media, and this is what you need to know. Political Action Committees, or PACs, were formed in years past to enable small businesses and other small groups to legitimately pool campaign contributions to increase their influence with candidates. PACs, per se, are not necessarily bad. They can empower people to be heard who otherwise have no real voice. Unfortunately, PACs have become the vehicle that powerful special interests have used to hide the source of millions of dollars in campaign contributions that have influenced our elections. Here is how the game is now played. Powerful special interests with loads of money want to make big contributions to the campaigns of politicians in order to buy influence with them once they are elected. Unfortunately, many politicians are more than willing to take special interest money. But they are afraid to because many voters would disapprove, which could cost them the election. So, instead of giving their money directly to politicians, the powerful special interests launder the money through a multitude of political action committees. Passing their contributions through several PACs makes it virtually impossible to trace the money back to them. The politicians get the money they want to fund their campaigns. The special interests buy the influence they want. But the voters are kept completely in the dark by a process that is totally fraudulent. This spring, Representative Jeff McLaughlin introduced legislation for the eighth year in a row to end the abuse of pack-to-pack -pack transfers. I still think the bill is worth doing because of greater accountability, greater transparency. And let voters know who's really uh, pulling the strings of the folks that they're elected down here. Senator Arthur Orr has sponsored a similar bill in the Senate. With the current system, it is very easy for special interests to hide their donor dollars uh, for different candidates and launder that money. Not surprisingly, neither bill has made it through both houses to be passed into law, even though in 2006 both the Republican and Democrat parties promised to make banning pack-to-pack -pack transfers a priority. Pack-to-pack -pack transfers undermine fair and honest elections and give powerful special interests too much influence over the state legislature. The people of Alabama have a right to know who is funding candidates because that tells who is really influencing the Alabama state government. A ban on pack-to-pack -pack transfers is critical to real campaign finance reform. For API New Media, I'm Julie Collier, and this is what you need to know.